victorious. You are sitting with your eyes closed, focusing on the experience of bliss in this moment. It's not mere words. You do get a glance, a, an experience in between. And then a storm of thoughts arises in the mind and you forget about that experience, that living in the moment, that freedom. What would you call this storm of thoughts? A dream or reality? It's a dream only. Can you share an important thought in that storm that needs to be resolved? My jealousy. About what? My sexual jealousy. Mm -hmm. Can you explain? Uh, sometimes uh, I'm thinking, about, I'm, I'm really imagining things happening somewhere else or with somebody. Mm -hmm. So it, it's disturbing me. Right. In that moment, would you call it relevant? Not at all. What is relevant then in, in that moment? Being present is important. Hmm. Hmm. Useful from any standpoint? Remaining lost in one's mind? No. What is useful then? Being myself. Wow. Hmm. Living in the moment. Yes. Being one with the mantra. Yes. Living in your best possibility in the moment. What can be more useful, more productive? What can be better than that, Anish? When you are lost in that storm, I understand that you are not peaceful. Not at all. Do you want to be peaceful? Sure. Normally, what are the likes and dislikes that are hidden in such storms? The patterns that keep on repeating. People should love me. Nice. I, I like to be loved by people. Yes. I dislike when they are indifferent. Yes. I like to be appreciated. Is it there? Sure. I dislike that they many of them are indifferent. Yes. They are ignoring me. They are ignoring you. Yeah. What other thoughts you see arising due to these likes and dislikes? What other feelings arise in the mind? Are you comfortable in the moment? No, never. There is an unease, I understand. There is some seeking also. I wish, I hope. Are you centered in the moment when you are lost in likes and dislikes? No, I can't. Do you want to be centered? Sure. Remaining attached with likes and dislikes, whatever their content is, can anybody be peaceful? No. Shri Krishna says, Raga dvesh, likes, dislikes, vyukta is to, when you free yourself from them. And then, vishayan indriyesh, then you, you, you live in the world, follow your dharma. Atma vashyair vidhe atma, when your mind is thus controlled, then prasadam adhigachyati, prasanna ho jate hai. 
we become happy we become peaceful we become fulfilled do you want to be like that sure if i ask you between they should like me love me not ignore me on one hand and your freedom your peace your fulfillment living in your best possibility on the other what would you want to choose living in my best possibility and i understand that for this you are ready to pay the price of likes and dislikes yeah letting them go how would you feel when you let go of a desire to be appreciated feel like hmm 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 many times it must have happened that people have loved you appreciated you approved of your work has that given you lasting peace no so we understand that x factors i plus being appreciated being loved it does not give you lasting lasting is important we need to understand the difference between stress and prayer what is pleasant and what is good what is pleasant it gives you relief you feel little solace you feel good for some time and then the mind starts seeking again becomes unfulfilled within no time something else is there or the same desire can get repeated if somebody is appreciating you you want that appreciation to continue somebody is loving you you want that love to continue and that can never happen for good everything happening you know all the good things in life whatever your definition of good is pleasant is that happening for all the times to come that cannot happen are you holding on to anything permanent no the thoughts of appreciation being loved they are there now they get replaced by some other thoughts after some time do you want to be free anish sure in attachment with any x factor can one ever attain freedom no never so what is the price once again for freedom that one needs to pay factors in any case they are only giving us disturbance and it's a dream only it's an imagination only detaching from an imagination why should it be difficult what are the conditionings hidden in this dream people should love me good people should be loved i understand you have a great amount of sattva in you you have goodness in your heart and good people should be loved and appreciated by others is it reality no what is the reality then people are lost in their own minds yes they are in their own world they are in their own worlds so who has time for a niche maybe your mother i understand maybe maybe your wife your girlfriend maybe one or two people who really care whose whose heart beats for you but all else in this world who cares everybody is lost in his own thoughting in her own storms and their storms are so important for them they are also thinking we should be loved we should be appreciated now mr x the same mr y the same miss a the same mrs b the same 
everybody is seeking only all the time and you know that this is maya yeah. if you are attached with this thought good people should be loved and appreciated people should love others how do you feel if you are attached with the conditioning that one should be loved and then one will be happy this is the basic belief in the mind one should be loved in order to be happy one should be appreciated in order to be fulfilled if you are attached with this belief how do you feel i will be in turmoil every time and you don't want to remain in turmoil anymore no give me one reason that's not stressful to go on holding on to this belief that is not true in my experience changing ha uh ha -huh. means uh, mm -hmm. whenever i am getting something mm -hmm. whenever i am getting appreciation mm -hmm. whenever whenever i am getting love words it's not lasting right dear thing fade away it's every time fading away right dear and with that the happiness also fades away yeah and you don't want that to happen anymore yes right dear what would happen how would you feel if you let go of this desire i feel i feel light and comfortable Hmm. Who is stopping you from being feeling light and comfortable? Myself, my thoughts, my beliefs. And I understand that now you want to detach from those beliefs. Yes. This is what is called anasakti. This is what is called vairagya, renunciation. It does not mean that you have to leave your home, you have to leave the family, you have to go somewhere else. detaching from wrong notions that's it detaching from imaginations yes. is it your business that they should love you no <laughs> who is his business then <laughs> that is their business that is their business what is your business then dear do the turn around being be myself being in the present ah ah i should love me instead of they should love me what a beautiful turn around it would be i should love me i should give myself my best company i should appreciate myself and loving myself we have understood means living in peace <coughs> living in compassion for everybody even for those who don't love you you do your business they are doing their business and i accept people as they are they love me good they don't love me equally good my business is my art my mind my peace that i don't want to give up at any cost do you accept it sure thank you sweetheart thank you so much thank you thank you mm -hmm.